All right, this is just gonna be a quick unboxing and setup of the ASUS AC5300. Extreme tri-band Wi-Fi router, kind of looks like a little bomb, that kind of thing here. Um, this is kind of the follow-up to the unboxing of the AC3100, I believe it is, which I just posted, which is the replacement to the AC2400. The AC3100, I'm incredibly unimpressed with. I kind of got it to see if it would be faster or fix some of the Wi-Fi range issues we were having with the 2400 and actually the Wi-Fi range is a lot worse with the 3100. I'm uh, very unimpressed with it. It's um, slower overall as a router. I think that's just because of bugs in the firmware though. It's pretty early on. I'm kind of expecting the same issues with this. Asus is great except when it's not and that would be true of this router as well. Um, I'm expecting issues with the firmware early on, but once they do stabilize, these are some of the best routers on the market. So just taking a look here, this particular router does not have the number of Ethernet ports that the 3100 did. That was one of the things we liked about that. This one does boast some incredible uh, speeds though that we did not get off of the 3100. So I'm hoping to see increased range out of this as well as some uh, better overall Wi-Fi connectivity. We have, we have about 40 to 50 devices here in our house. Uh, we have a lot of people that live here and uh, we'll have to see how this holds up. So just opening the box here, you first get that uh, advertisement for their What the Fast or WT Fast rather. Um, kind of their gaming experience. I didn't. I kind of checked it out. I wasn't terribly impressed on the 3100, which also had that uh, the English side. Fast, easy setup. Plug it in. Go to the particular spot on your router. And connect to router.asus.com. So this is really going to be kind of an unboxing video. I'm not going to do the setup on this. If you want to see the setup of what this looks like, it's going to be identical to the 3100. These are running the same firmware. This is really just kind of to show people what this thing looks like in the box here. I would be surprised if you'd have to do this, but for some reason I'm not finding an easy way to get this out, so I'm having to tip it out of the box here. I don't know if you can see that, but it is not coming out immediately. Alright, so one thing to note with this, I actually have the box upside down. I'm yanking on it. All right, well that was fun. Apparently I'm the idiot because you know, well, this is not immediately intuitive to me, but with this particular one, you have to actually pull this off first. And then you have the router sitting here ready to be pulled out. That was not immediately apparent to me. I think that it should have been made clearer in some of the packaging. Let me just go ahead and pull this off here. It's great because they give you arrows for everything else except for that. This is a beast of a router. Look at this guy. That is hefty. It's quite the router. What else we got on the box? So yeah, as I was saying, I'm not going to do the full setup online with this. This will be identical to the others. Um, this is really just for the unboxing of this, and then I'll follow up with a video on... Oh, that's kind of neat. That is pretty neat. It comes out and they just stack all the antennas there for you. And I'm assuming over here is the power cord. Power cord and an Ethernet cable. It's nice to still give you that. So the setup will be the same on this one. Look at the recently posted video of the 3100. I'll link it in the description if you want to see that. And I will follow up with a video on exactly how this one performs. This is kind. Of, I'll consider this my follow-up video to the performance of the 3100. It's not great. It's actually very poor. Very unhappy with the performance of the 3100. But let's see if this guy can stand up at all. Kind of hopeful that it can. We'll have to see. I'm assuming with this one, just like the 3100, that there is a firmware update available. 
pretty typically the case with these. Um, even if it doesn't show it in the admin or in the web configure configuration, um, typically there is one available. You just have to go to Aces' website and check it out. Um, that was that way with the 2400 as well. It just did not show them in the. It would always be a version or two behind. Let me turn this light on and see if it adjusts anything there. Oh, look at that. Okay. I'm going to actually turn this now so I can hang this off the edge. It is, this is the most badass looking router I've ever seen, I'll be honest. Um, it just did a good job. They've always done a good job designing the routers. This one is no exception. This one is a very good looking router. Let's get the last few antennas installed here. The last few, I'm about halfway done. This one does have the most antennas. The way that our, our house is set up, we have, I'm just going to show you here. I'm going to have to put the router back in for the Ethernet ports. Um, I don't know if you saw, I took that out in the unboxing of the 3100. I'm going to put that back in since this does only have four. And I need about eight where I'm connecting, which is why the 3100 was a great solution. I will be returning the 3100. I may. I'm, uh, I'm not finding a whole lot of reason to not stick with my 2400, to be honest. The only reason I would even stick with this one at the way higher price point is that if it were to give me incredible Wi-Fi reception all over our house, even in the places we don't typically get great Wi-Fi. But aside from that, that is kind of close there to the reset button on my side. There's your reset button. There's your Ethernet ports. Aside from incredible Wi-Fi reception, this is a $400 router, and I'm not sure what it's going to get me that the 24, or yeah, AC2400 does not give me. The AC2400 has been the best router I've ever put my hands on. I recommend it strongly to anybody that I can, in my opinion, to, and they've all been happy. I've sold it. By the way, your WPS here. Let me turn this after I screw in this last antenna. The 2400 is an incredible router. It really is. I can't rave about it enough. Just WPS, LED, and Wi-Fi buttons. You can turn the Wi-Fi off for the button. And yeah, there she is. That is one incredible looking router. Asus is nothing if not creative on their design. I think I'd want to keep it just because of how it looks. Is it worth the extra money? Only if it gives me increased performance. So I'm going to uh, go try this out, review that, and I will follow up in either the comments or the description of this video, and I may even make a new video if I need to. Thanks for watching.